Hey, I'm Jesus. And I'm Maria. And right now we're standing in the middle of Shirley Best Way, which is actually at the heart of the Pleasantville campus. Pleasantville campus is located in Westchester, New York, about 40 minutes north of New York City. Behind us is the library, the Kessel Student Center, and one of my favorite places, Choke Pond. But these are only a few spots on campus. We're going to go ahead and show you all the great places on and around the Pleasantville campus. Right now we're here in the Kessel Student Center, the main hub of campus. You could grab a bite to eat, hang out with some friends, or just sit back and relax. Here we have a wide variety of foods such as the sushi station, Italian foods, and the grill. So anything you crave, we have available here. And right now, surrounding us are our Greek flags. As a member of Alpha Phi Delta fraternity, I'm part of Greek life here on campus. It's been my family away from my family, my home away from home, and it's given me a big insight into a lot of other organizations here at Pace as well. Now let's go check out the rest of Kessel. We are now at the Premier Lounge, which is just another hangout here at Kessel. Here you can play pool, foosball, or even play the piano. Although it's named the Commuter Lounge, it's not just for commuters. It's for all students alike. It's a great place to hang out in between classes and in between all your activities. We're here in front of our Barnes & Noble Pace Bookstore, where you can find all your textbook needs. My favorite part, you can find all your Pace apparel in here, so why don't we go take a look. Right now we're walking through one of the most beautiful parts on campus, the Environmental Center. I actually took an environmental photography class right here. So no matter what time you're walking past, you're always bound to run into some kind of interesting wildlife. Right now we are in Morto Library, which is located by the pond. What I like best about the library is that it accommodates all study styles. So whether you're in a group or you're studying alone, you can do both. On the first floor is where group study sessions are. You can check out a private room if you want, or if you're looking for a more quiet area, the second or third floor is where you should be. We're inside Wilcox Hall, which houses a large computer lab for all students on campus to access, as well as our Media and Communication Arts Center. I'm an MCA major concentrating in public relations. This major is broken down to public relations, journalism, and media production. Right here in our equipment room is 16 HE cameras, 5 steady cams, and all professional lighting and equipment. Right outside of us is 10 editing stations, our screening room, and sound stage. This is our main production area for our majors. It's fully equipped with anything else a student may need while they're filming their projects. Here we are at Dyson Hall. It's home to our science labs. For nursing majors like me, and especially our science majors, this is practically our second home. With an $8 million renovation, these labs are absolutely beautiful. Let's go check them out. Here we are in one of Dyson Hall's research labs. This one's biology, but we also have chemistry, genetics, physics, and anatomy. This entire program is built around students working side by side with professors. That means you're doing your own research and getting published while here at Pace University. We're down in our nursing labs where you'll begin your nursing career. With me, I have Melissa, our simulation mom who gives birth. She's set up with an ID, IV, and oxygen behind her should she need it. We also do pediatric, geriatric, and ER simulations. There are cameras all throughout the lab so that you can view and learn from what you've done down here. We have a medication cart. It's equipped with medication, just like in a real hospital setting. As a childhood education major, Pace University uses the latest technologies to train its future teachers. Technology such as the Teach Live avatar. Students get up in front of a smart board and interact with avatar students. Being able to participate in Teach Live has really prepared me to enter the classroom. We're here at Choate House, the campus landmark. Everyone always wants to know why it's pink, and that's because when the Choate family donate the property, their only request is that we keep it pink, and it's been that color ever since. services that PACE offers is a free shuttle bus that connects all four campuses, Pleasantville, Prairie Cliff, White Plains, and New York City campus. If you would like to catch a train for the Metro North, it's only a five minute shuttle bus down to the heart of Pleasantville. Right now we're on our Metro North platform in the middle of Pleasantville. It's a short shuttle ride away from Pace. Best part about Pleasantville, it gives you access to a lot of great locations. 
Whether you're looking for internships, jobs, or somewhere to go out with your friends, White Plains and Sanford, Connecticut are a short trip away. And with a 45 minute train ride into Grand Central, New York City's in your backyard. With so many great things going on, Pleasantville has a lot to offer too, so let's go take a walk. One of the best parts about Pace and their relationship with Pleasantville is our Flex Dollar Plan, where local restaurants actually let us use our meal plan money to buy food in town. Right here is the Pleasantville Dog House. You can get anything from an ordinary dog to a mac and cheese dog. Everything's delicious in here, and it's just one of the few establishments that let us use this plan. Right now we're here at the Jacob Burns Film Center, a non-for-profit educational film center that screens independent film. Last semester I volunteered here teaching third graders about film. As an education major, it was a great opportunity for me and it's a great part of our town. We're here in the Goldstein Fitness Center, which is open to all Pace students and home of Pace Athletics. Right now I'm standing in the middle of a fitness room where they have everything from cardio machines to weightlifting. We have a pool which is home to pace swimming and holds open swim hours. And my favorite, the dog pound, which plays home to pace basketball and volleyball. So we're here at Martin Hall, one of the two residential halls on this campus. We also do have townhouses here. This community also does extend to the Bradford campus, which gives you that home away from home feel. There is five residential halls, there's a dining hall, and also it'll give you a free shuttle services from both campuses. Living on campus has been fun for me, not only because of the freedom, but it also gives me a sense of independence. Behind us is Kessel Student Center, which will be expanding through Pace's master plan. She will also add new additions onto campus. We will also be relocating our environmental center in order to make room for two brand new residential halls and a campus quad area. The Pace Athletic Fields will also be renovated so we can watch our sports teams play. Thanks for coming out on tour with us. So if you're planning a visit to campus, make sure you stop by the Welcome Center here at Marks Hole. We'd love to show you around in person.